Yo, what's up YouTube, it's Bernardo Fair, welcome back. And today we have the Morbius, official trailer number two. Um, I'm gonna be honest, kinda forgot that this was a movie. Kinda forgot that this was even coming out. That's not good, at all. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Do it. I started like a year ago, then got really busy finding a job and everything, and I was lost. Yeah, I might, I might re rewatch, not, not rewatch it, I might start watching it. Maybe. Especially with that new Netflix adaptation coming out. Kind of made me interested in, in watching the, like, original, so. Anyways, today, we have the Morbius official trailer number two. So, apparently it's coming out in 2022 now. I could have sworn the release date was for 2021, but I think it got delayed alongside Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and just a, a whole bunch of movies because of the pandemic. But, official trailer number two, almost three minutes, so I'm hoping to be sold I wasn't really sold the first time. I, I thought it was a cool trailer, but that's literally it. I didn't really feel like I was sold on the idea of Morbius as a solo villain. I, I feel like probably would have been better to introduce him first as a villain, and then we've seen his, his backstory. But that's just me. So let's jump in. Morbius, number two, the run shit. You need a doctor? I am a doctor. I should have okay. died years ago. Ooh. People all over the world have my disease. From here. To find a cure, we have to push the boundaries, take the risks. If you're gonna run, do it now. Okay. Okay. Decent start. Dr. Michael Morbius, you've been missing for two months. When you're a stranger. Then you were found on a container ship that washed up off a of Long Island. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Okay. What did you do to yourself, Doctor? Tyrese Gibson. Whoa. I went from dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. Not exactly. I have increased strength and speed and some form of bat radar. What else can I do? Oh, that looks disgusting. There okay. Is. It there has to be. There's something inside of me. He wants to hunt and consume blood. Michael. When you're astray, you're astray. January. And you control it. I don't know. Half the city wants to kill you. Okay, Daily Bugle pops up again. He's a cop. good since that thing in San Francisco. The other half wants to control you. Hey, uh, Dr. Mike. Okay. Stay in touch. Okay. I'd do anything to save a life. But I don't know what I'm capable of. Ooh, kind of like Nightcrawler. You save lives, you don't take them. Are you here to heal the world? Or to destroy it? Okay. Hey, you know what? Who the hell are you, man? I am Venom. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. Did he say I am Venom? Hold on. Who the hell are you, man? I am Venom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. That's funny. That's funny. But I don't... Like, yeah. This looks pretty good. I'm cautiously optimistic. I don't like the January release. Um, yeah, no. January is usually when they just dump movies. They just kind of... January is known to be the shit movie month. They just kind of drop shit. 
<laughs> just, he's just, he's like, oh shit, we were supposed to drop this last year? Uh, just, just drop it in January, bro. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like they're, they're trying to make him an, an anti-hero once again, which is concerning because that's what they're doing with Venom. And I don't just, like, I don't want this to just be another Venom, if that makes sense. I don't want this to just be, oh, it's Venom, but he's a vampire, right? And, like, even with, like, the joke at the end, I I'm Venom, they're kind of playing with it on, on the nose, but I don't know. I don't know. But let's do a small little scan through again to talk about certain things. So, from what I, what I understand from this trailer is... He has some, some sort of illness, some disease, and it paralyzes him, or it makes it hard to, like, walk. And he does certain experiments, I guess, to try to figure out what he, he can do. Hey, hello, first time, first time chatter. Hello, welcome to the stream. What is it? What, this, this trailer? It's it's Morbius. It's He's a Spider-Man villain. Hello, hi. I really don't know how to say your name, so I'm not even going to try, but hi. Yeah, no, we're, we're just watching the Morbius trailer. It's it's interesting. Hey, thank you for the follow, man. Thank you so much. Hey, welcome to the Wolfpack, bro. Um, Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure if I'm sold on this 100%. I feel like it, it could be decent, but I don't think it's going to be, like, top tier. Like, they're... Mm -hmm. I don't think it's it's gonna be top tier the way that. I mean, saying Venom's top tier is kind of hard for me too. Yikes, yikes! I'm sorry. The, 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 the listen, that's just the way I feel. You know what I mean? But what interests me as well is from the studio that brought you Spider Man Far From Home. They don't mention Homecoming, but they mention Far From Home. Which makes me believe that they are really trying, like, this new Spider-Man movie that's coming out. Spider-Man and, uh, not Endgame, what the hell. I mean, it's basically Spider-Man Endgame. Spider-Man No Way Home, there you go. Spider-Man No Way Home. With that movie coming out, a lot of people from the studios that are working on the movie, they keep talking about it as if it's the end of an era. You know what I mean? Maybe because it's the most recent movie. I guess, but I, I feel like this means something. I, I just don't know what it means, but I feel like what, what's going to happen is Spider-Man is going to go back to Sony for a bit, at least like Spider-Man is going to have his own separate trilogy. And whenever they do like big crossovers and shit, like the Avengers and stuff like that, like Peter Parker will join those, those type of movies. But I feel like after this movie that comes out, this um, No Way Home, I think he might be going back to Sony, and Sony is going to produce their own individual Spider-Man movies and release their own individual Spider-Man movies. That's how I feel. Do I really agree with it? I'm 50-50 on it, to be honest. But that's what I think is going to like happen. Just like looking at the way that there are deals being made, I'm, I'm surprised they even let him in Avengers, to be honest. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. Okay, so now to break down his powers. So he has super strength. He can fly. He has echolocation. What else? I guess he has increased sight, maybe? Some form of bat radar. What else can I do? So he looks to be wearing like a prison outfit. I think he might be going to jail in this movie and that's where he meets Michael Keaton. Which is also interesting, right? He meets the Vulture from the Spider-Man movie. So it's connected. But he also mentions Venom. And spoiler alert for those who haven't watched Venom 2. Um, the ending of Venom 2 is crazy. I'm not going to say too much just in case. But that ending, like the post credit scene, kind of makes sense now with this trailer coming out. And like I was saying, I'm kind of concerned because I don't want Morbius to be another um, anti-villain or anti-hero. There you go. Anti-hero. 
I kind of want him to be a villain villain. Same thing with Venom. Like, like I, I really... like. Oh! Oh, look at the top! Oh, I didn't even read the top! Finding the truth within... T okay. Rhino on the loose. Zoo hoax fools us all. I think they might be hinting at the Rhino, bruh. Like, the villain. The Rhino. And then Black Cat. Friend or foe. Black Cat exists. She's a thing. Oh, no. That that kind of got... Yo, I'm kind of excited for this. Black Cat? Wants Ooh, to kill I'm so glad that I stopped to read that Daily Bugle thing. Also, Tyrese Gibson was not was not in this movie from what I, I heard, but apparently he is, so here you go. Um, again, if you go back to watch my first trailer reaction, bro, this is Sam Raimi's suit. This is Tobey Maguire's suit. This is not Tom Holland's. This isn't Andrew Garfield's. This is like, <laughs> this is like the Raimi suit with the mur with murderer across it, which doesn't make sense because you would think that it would be Tom Holland's because he's been framed by Mysterio, but it's not. It's the Raimi suit. I don't know. Yo, is it possible to send me the VOD after I want to try this stuff? Or it's hard to find. Um, the VOD's gonna be on my channel, on my Twitch channel. So if you just want to come back and watch the rest, watch the VOD on my channel, you can. Not my YouTube channel, my Twitch channel. But yeah. Control. This is interesting. I'm I'm kind of excited for this. But I think for the wrong reasons. Because I'm not excited for this because, oh my god, it's Morbius. I'm excited because of the connection to Spider-Man. And the potential, no, I mean like downloaded. Oh, I don't know. I, don't know. I, should stay in I know that you can probably download it, but I don't know. If I can download it and send it to you, I, I don't know. Touch. Michael Keaton's Vulture is, is in this as well. Yeah, man, this is kind of interesting. Not, not gonna lie, it looks decent. Doesn't look that, like it doesn't look great. Does it, doesn't look like it's what people feel about the Joker. Yo, what's up, Mass? Looks to be like another decent Sony movie of a villain slash anti-villain. But yeah, comment down below, YouTube chat. L let me know what y'all think about this Morbius trailer. I, I think it could be cool. I think it could be decent, man. To be honest. Oh, <laughs>